log rules. We can define a log here in general if a to the power n equals b then that means log to the base a of b equals n. So that works both ways. If log to the base a of b is n that means that the base of a raised to the power n equals b. Logs are all about working with powers. If your unknown is your power you're going to need to use logs. And there's hundreds of different logs that you can use. They all have different bases. The standard one on a calculator is log to the base 10. You've got clever ones log to the base e, but we'll get onto them later. So in this case, log to the base a, because the base number is a, is raised to the power n. So log to the base a of b equals n. That's something that's just worth remembering. A few things that we can do looking at that. Log to the base a of a equals 1. So when b is the same as a, a to the power n equals a, n has to be 1. Log to the base a of 1 is 0. So when b equals 1, a to the power of something is 1, n has to be 0. Nice thing to note, log to the base a of two things times together, b times c, is log to the base a of b plus log to the base a of c. The reason that's working is because if you've got two things a to the n times by a to the m times them together, all you do is you add your powers so long as you have the same base number. It's the same thing here. Converse one of that, log to the base a of b over c is log to the base a of b minus log to the base a of c. Same kind of idea, if you had two things with the same base and you were dividing them, you would just take the powers away from each other. Using the logs to the base a of two things times together, if them two things were the same, so log to the base a of b squared with log to the base a of b plus log to the base a of b. So that'd be 2 log to the base a of b. I can kind of go on with the idea to have any power of it. So log to the base a of b to the n is the same as n lots of log to the base b. These are worth remembering. Log to the base a of a is 1. That works for any base. So if you've got the same base number as the number that you're logging, it will always equal 1. So log to the base 10 of 10 is 1. Log to the base a of 1 equals 0. Again, it doesn't matter what this base number is. Log 10 of 1 is 0. Log 2 of 1 is 0. They'll always work. These next ones, I don't really need to put the log base in because it's the same in every single part of the equation. So it'll work for any log base. If you don't put the log base in, it assumes that you're talking log to the base 10 because it should work for anything. And again, for the last one, really important one, it's the one that's used more often than any other. Log to the base a of b to the n equals n log to the base a of b. Doesn't matter about the base. So log b to the n equals n log b. Remember that one. We'll have a look at an example. Evaluate log to the base 3 of 81. Well, I want to put the 81 in terms of the base number. So I want to put the 81 in terms of 3. So in this case, I've got log to the base 3 of 3 to the 4. 81 is 3 to the 4. Different ways I can look at this. I can pull 4 down to the front and I can 4 lots of log to the base 3 of 3, which is 4 times 1, which is just 4. Or I can look at my original definition. Log to the base a of b equals n. So 3 to the 4 equals 3 to the n. So n has to be 4. But logs are all about finding that power for the base number that's in question. More examples like this. Log to the base 2 of a quarter. Again, we're just going to rewrite quarter in terms of base 2. So that's the same as 2 to the power minus 2. So that's 1 over 2 squared. So we're looking at that power again. So once I've got the base number the same as the log base, it's just the power, so it's just minus 2. We're going to look at a different way of doing logs. Write x as a log. So 3 to the power x equals 7. Without using logs, it'd be really hard to do this. It'd be trial and improvement, and we wouldn't get an accurate answer. This way, we can just write down an answer straight away. We can write x equals log to the base 3 of 7. Some modern calculators can just calculate that straight away. Another one, 
write x as log, 9 to the power x equals 2. Well, x equals log to that base number, so x equals log to the base 9 of 2. We'll have a look at a different way of doing them later on. Example, write as a single log. Log 2 plus log 5, well that's log 10, 2 times 5. Log 48 minus log 6, now we're going to do the 48 divided by the 6, so that's the same as log 8. 2 log 5 plus 3 log 2, a little bit more going on here. That's the same as log 5 squared plus log 2 cubed, which is the same as log 25 plus log 8. Log plus a log is the same as log of 25 times by 8, which is log 200. Some more examples, write them in terms of log a and log b. Well, log a squared b is going to be 2 lots of log a, because it's log a squared plus the log b. So it's going to bring that power down to the front, I get 2 log a plus log b. Log b cubed over a, again bring the 3 down to the front, so I get 3 lots of log b. And then the minus, because it's a divide, log a. Log a over square root b. Well, we should remember that square root b is the same as writing to the power half. So that's going to be log a minus log root b, which is the same as log a minus log b to the power half, which is neater for me to write as log a minus half log b. Thank you.